Well, hello again, people. Here I am with DG Vlad. Description down below. We are trying to upgrade ThinkPad X270, a really nice piece of uh, IBM uh, ThinkPad. What are you trying to do here now? We're trying to uh, change the network card that came with the computer, right. which is the uh, Intel Dual Band Wireless AC8265, to this one, which is wire, uh, Intel Wi-Fi 6AX200. Let me see that. Okay. But before we do this, we're gonna make uh, some uh, network measurements to see if it actually it improves. Okay. So the first test we're gonna do a speed test. Uh, from the computer, connect the wireless to this router over here. Okay, we got that near the frog. <laughs> yeah. The frog router. So let's go with this one. Let's see. The internet provider is 500. Uh, should be 500. Should be megabits per second. Something like that. Okay. So it's it's pretty close. It's almost to the limit. Almost to the limit. So what we can do now for a, a better testing? We should have a well, kind of a local Wi-Fi or something. Yes, we're gonna uh, do a benchmark between this computer and the stationary computer. Okay, here, the desktop, which is connected to the router by a cable, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do a test with the old card and the new Wi-Fi card. Okay, so um, the point is that the router should be fast enough for uh, this kind of uh, test. Test, right? I think it should. I think AC supports Wi Fi 6. AC means Wi Fi version 5. Okay. We have Wi Fi version 6. But it's still gonna be an improvement. Let's see. Obviously, the desktop is connected to LAN. By cable. By cable, right. By network cable. Okay, so that's from. Throughout the test. VDAM uh -huh. performance meter. Okay. You can find it for uh, Mac OS and Android. Mm -hmm. You can test it on your phone, I think. If you nice. Know. The Windows search function sucks. Go Linux. <laughs> <laughs> okay, run server. Port 27100. 1371 11208. I don't know why it has two IPs, but we'll see. Run client. That's a very interesting concept. You can see it here? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so let's put the, I the IP. Let's see. Let's see what I have. What IP I have. Write it down. Config. 1163. Okay, I don't have to write it down. Oh, yeah, you are clever. 161208. Connect. Bam. So I'm connected now. Let's see. And now it's, for, now it's performing tests. Okay, nice. Uh, it's connected to the Wi Fi, to the router, and the router is connected to the network cable to the main uh -huh. server. So I got it. And I'm getting some speeds here already 562 megabits, average 514. And 500, five, almost 500 up and down. So half, half a gigabit, yes. All right, so with the original card. With the original card. Let's say around 500. Around 500, yes. Okay. Uh, it's, simu it's simulating the traffic in a certain way. Uh -huh. So this is uh, more like an audio video type of uh, traffic. Like streaming? Like streaming, yeah. All ah, right. Let's dismantle the bastard. First of, first of all, you have to take the battery off, which is a bit tricky because you have to keep holding the tabs and try to put your nails inside. And this is a external battery that you can change. It's a 24 watt hour battery. Be cool. And then you have to take the screws here, here, here. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Philips? Philips? Yeah, Philips. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now we have to pry it open. It's very, it's a very nice uh, touch. It's a yeah. rubber, a rubberized rubber something. something. Uh huh. But this is the magnesium. Uh, I think I think this is magnesium something maybe. I don't know. Should anyway, anyway, it's sturdy. So the updates that I did. Yeah. DDR4 16 gigabyte memory from Kingston, pretty cheap. It only has one SIM, one uh, slot? SIM slot. So it works in single channel mode, not in dual channel when you have two. Okay. So the, the memory or the RAM speed is not that great. Okay, it's a little trick. 
for you guys if you have any metal debris on the loudspeakers you can you can do something like this fish it with another magnet now we are good and another upgrade was the NVMe drive which is a one terabyte eight data which I got it cheap as well it's in the so cheap nowadays uh-huh Okay, so there is an adapter or something for you can you can also install a classical hard drive or a uh -huh. classical SSD. Uh, one what was it? Three point five? No, it's one one point five. Two point five. Two point five inches. Yeah. But this one came with a adapter for the NVMe. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So it's not exactly on the main board or motherboard. No, this is connected to a cable. Uh -huh. This is the port portal. Okay, very nice and very interesting. interesting. Nice and interesting. So I bought a bigger one. The, the one that it came with was 256. Not so SSD. NVMe SSD. A not, NVMe? Not so, not so big. Okay. So this is the new one. Uh -huh. And this is the adapter, the M2. Yeah. Very interesting. It's like a slave board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like a daughter board. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. And this one, I think this acts like a heatsink. Yeah, of course it is a heatsink. Look here, we have the thermal pad. So I installed the heatsink that it came with, the uh -huh. drive, and then I installed this on top, just to be extra. Beautiful. Just to be extra sure. Absolutely, yes. So the network card is over here. We have. Okay, so that's the network card. Okay, let's see now if it and fits. And this is another M2 slot, you can install an extra SSD if you want. Okay, so that's the native M2. The, uh, no, this is another... Or, or on the main board. I think it's the same, but you can install a one card here, with a SIM card. Ah, okay, so it's not exactly an M2 for hard drive. Right? No, no, it is, it works. Is it? Yeah, you can install a hard drive if you want. Okay. But it has to be this small. It's a yeah, 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 certain yeah. size. That format, right. Okay, so we have to disconnect the antennas first. Nice and easy. Don't uh, stress it because the connections are really IPX. fragile. IPX, no? Something Connectors. Like, I think IPX. So. Yeah. They're really. Finicky. Pigtail. Pigtail. They're really finicky. Screw here. Take it off. And this is the one that it came with. It's an Intel model 825. 8265NGW. And this is the new one. Intel Wi Fi 6X200. Okay. Okay, let's insert. The new one in place. The black is on the right. On the right? Yeah, because you can see the length. Look at the length. <sighs> it don't be and now we install this. The antennas. The antennas. Gray was in the... Or the left. Let's on go. the left side. Click. It has them now, the black one. Mm -hmm. A bit finicky because it's smaller. Click. Okay, so we have to assemble it back. We can test. Yeah, please try and test it before. Yeah. Client. Okay, the moment of truth. Okay, so finally, we have like 10% Maybe. improvement. Almost. But uh, let's not forget that the router is not able to send any Wi-Fi 6 protocol, no? We are, we are working with Wi-Fi 5. Yeah. No. But it's still, a, I think it's still an improvement. Five, that means the fifth generation. The fifth generation. Exactly, it's not a matter of so gigahertz or It's around something. 525 now. 525 and it does like 500 and... I think so, 500. Yeah, like 10% maybe? No. Maybe. Yeah, almost like that. Okay. Well, that's nice. Interesting that's nice. experiment, isn't that? Yes. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I hope it's uh, useful and useful, of course. And mostly... Don't forget to... Have 
fun. <laughs> Thank you. DJ Vlad, description below.